2019 is in the rear view. So what did the real estate market do? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb, and I'm here today to talk to you about 2019 and the real estate review for some of the largest cities throughout the Bay State. We have this data for all towns throughout the state, so if you have a specific question about how your town held up, then we'd love to send it to you. Just shoot me an email at jeff at boston2.com. So first, let's start off with Massachusetts and the single family market where they actually saw a half percent increase in the amount of houses sold. Meanwhile, the average sale price of $516,843 represented a 3% increase year over year in the average sale price, with the amount of single family home inventory actually decreasing by 20%. The Massachusetts condo market saw a decrease of 0.7% in the amount of units sold. This was coupled with the 10.5% decrease in the number of condos available to home buyers at the uh, end of 2019. Prices for condos increased 4% to an average sale price of $521,744. So let's move over to Boston, the largest city in Massachusetts. In Boston, the single family market saw a 6% decrease in sales with the average sale price of $875,000. This average sales price actually accounted for a 6% increase in pricing. Inventory in 2019 for the single family market in Boston decreased by 28%. The Boston condo market saw sales in 2019 decrease by 5%. Inventory in the condo market actually decreased by 1.7%. And the average sales price in condos for Boston is up 5% to $923,000. In Cambridge, condo sales increased by 0.1%. The average sales price actually ticked down a fraction to $935,897, which accounts for a 0.6% decrease in the pricing year over year. Meanwhile, inventory saw a 21% decrease in the amount of available homes to home buyers. Somerville saw a massive 40% decrease in inventory by year's end, with sales up 7% and the average sale price up 1.3% to $788,000. Quincy saw nearly a 9% decrease in the amount of single family homes sold. Inventory in the single family saw a market like a sharp decrease of 25.5% with the average sales price up 6% to $545,925. So essentially 546 grand, right? The condo market actually saw a 3% decrease, um, I'm sorry, increase in the amount of homes sold. Um, with inventory actually staying unchanged and prices up 4% to an average sale price of $417,000 year over year. The Newton single family market had some slight changes in their market conditions year over year. Sales only increased by one unit with uh, in inventory actually increasing by 5%. But the average sales price in Newton actually climbed to 1.462 million, which is a uh, appreciation rate of 3%. Heading out to the central part of the state and the second biggest city in, in the state of Massachusetts, the Worcester market continues to be one of the hottest markets in Massachusetts. The Worcester condo market saw a pullback of 7% in the amount of sales, but prices climbed by 15% to an average sale price of $182,917. Meanwhile, inventory actually decreased by 23%. So for single families in Worcester, they actually saw a 5% decline in the number of homes sold, but their average sale price climbed by 8% to an average sale price of $273,000, with inventory falling a drastic 44%. Look, real estate is local. Some markets are performing better than others. And for the most part, the market in the Bay State continues to be very strong and a really great market to be in. And I foresee this to continue as we go throughout 2020. There are some always some risks in the real estate market, which include, you know, uh, increasing interest rates, a softening economy, and maybe some geopolitical risks, right, circumstances. But all in all, it's my prediction, um, decreasing inventory will continue to put upward pressure on pricing throughout Massachusetts. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb. I'm with the Chubb Realty Group. We're brokered by eXp Realty. Our philosophy here is to make moving easier. So should you have any questions about your home, the current market conditions, or really just the process of buying a home or selling a home or selling a home and buying a home, right, which can get a little complicated, then we'd love to chat with you. The best number to get us at is 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and hope you're having a great day.